Hello foxes. It's been a hot minute, but I'm back with progression videos for my main account. My immediate goal is my first ever quest cape, which is what I'm working on right now. There's a ton I'd like to accomplish in this game, like agility as my first 99 or being able to do writing. It's all very exciting for me and I've been having lots of fun. Looking through my quests, it looks like I have five quests to do. Two of them I've already started for lore purposes. It looks like I have all the wrecks for each quest. Uh, other than needing to be on the ancient spellbook for Dragon Treasure 2, but easy peasy. So we're gonna just go down the list. First up is the new Children's of the Sun quest. Pretty certain that this is just a beginner entry quest to set up Varlamore content that's coming later which I am very excited for. Not only is there supposed to be new agility things to do, as well as a new hunter thing to do, which I'm very excited for that because I don't like doing hunter, so I feel like this new hunter thing will make me probably like hunter, hopefully. Either way, there's also going to be amazing lore attached to it, so a lot of good stuff. That one wasn't very long, got it completed, and now we have access to Varlamore, though I don't think we actually do because I'm pretty sure it's not released yet. Into the next quest. Looks like a night at the theater. I do see Path of Glow Free though, and I know that's easier. So I'm gonna switch from optimal Iron Man to regular since I'm not on my Iron Man. That's what I thought. Okay, Path of Glow Free next. If I'm not mistaken, this is the quest needed to complete to get access to the Warp Scepter, which I suppose is not bad of a weapon. I wouldn't know personally, but it might be something we grind out later. Okay, that one's down. Now, some pretty cool XP lamps, I like it. Unfortunately, I don't get a level from any of the lamps. I wasn't close enough prior, I guess. The next quest is Tob. This is going to be fun. I'm very much a throw my face at a boss till I learn it person, so we could be here for a while. I've also learned that it's easier to do entry mode solo, so, um, that's pretty okay with me. As someone who doesn't want to drag anyone else down for my mistakes, I'm pretty okay with that. I made a lore video on top. This place is actually pretty wickedly cool, especially when you find out what happens to Verzik. No spoilers though, go check it out for yourself. I looked up an inventory and gear to use from the wiki. Let's see how this goes. My husband kept talking to me during my first maiden fight, so I was struggling to pay attention. I have no idea what I'm doing. So I wasn't able to kill her on my first try. I had used all my supplies and messed up a lot. I went in knowing nothing of her mechanics. I didn't even know how to leave the theater. I had to ask El Planko and he said he didn't know either. <laughs> Going back in, I decided mana rays and restore potions are the best way to go. I switched from my whip to my crystal bow to keep my distance, hoping that would kind of help. I feel like I'm doing a lot better this time. Yes, first boss down. I used a lot of supplies. But I'm gonna go try the second boss anyway. I asked El Planko, who was already done on entry mode, what the bloat did. After a small recap, I ventured forth. He seems pretty simple. I'm definitely using too many supplies. I need to clean this up. I feel like I'm not taking a whole bunch of damage, but I don't like having only four pieces of food left either. Oh, I have no run left. Dang, that's it for me. I didn't monitor my run energy. I don't want to try again. I want to go refill my supplies and try to use less next time. I gotta clean this up. Definitely did better with Maiden. Bloat is just destroying me. I can't avoid the flesh to save my life. Yes, there it is. <laughs> I've got virtually no supplies, but there should be a chest. It has 10 health packs in it. Let's go see who the next boss is. Oh, the Nilocus. Man, this one takes a long time. Do they ever stop coming? Man, a pillar fell. I died. This one's gonna be a little harder than I thought. So I bought Os Mutton's Fang and it's been sitting in my bank because I didn't have 82 attack. I'm close though, so I'm gonna take a small break from Tob and go to some Slayer. He gave me a Tazar task. I'm gonna upgrade this to Jad, walk in and then walk out and get a new task because I really don't want to be wasting time on that. 177 greater demons, that's better. Only a couple kills left. I'm actually really excited to use the Fang. I spent far too much money on it. I'm a little nervous, a little edgy about it because I have not that much money left in my bank. So I really want it to be useful, which I know it is. So I'm really excited to be able to use it. 
Awesome, 82 attack. Let's go set up for another entry mode top run. With the Fang as my melee switch, I also decided to take my Toxic Blowpipe as my range switch with Amethyst Darts in it, instead of the Crystal Bow. I decided to cut back on Super Restores and bring more Mana Rays. I've made it all the way to Verzik this time. I have zero food, but I've made it to her. I'm going to at least attempt her just to get a feel. I wonder if magic works against her? Maybe range does? Uh, it definitely looks like magic doesn't work against her. Damn, I'm dead. <laughs> okay, let's go again. This time I got her a quarter of the way into her second phase. Here I'm hoping a simple ping pong motion can help me in the second phase. Down to 20% in this phase and I die. I did it, I killed her. Somehow, my recording software stopped recording before her fight. Oh, and I didn't notice. I can't believe I didn't notice. As you can see, I did kill her and turn it back on. It says kill count is one, and it took me over 40 minutes to complete Tob. Whew, all right. That was, that was awesome, though. I can't believe I did that. That's great. Uh, let's loot the chest. I know there won't be anything good in it as it's entry mode, but a girl can hope. Thought so. Let's finish out this quest by talking to this mysterious stranger. Four lamps and two points. Not bad. I'm gonna put them in defense as I plan to level the other stats via Slayer anyway, so... And defense is probably gonna be the last thing I try and level, so why not just wait a minute. I want to put together a solo entry mode top guide, so I need to go back in and record that Verzik fight that my recording software forgot to get, or like lapsed or whatever. I'm acting like it's a person, but you know, it, it stopped after Zarpus for some reason, and I just didn't get the Verzik fight. I failed. Uh, it gave me 15 bandages to try again though. So I came this far. I definitely need to get the fight on video. So let's give it another go. Yes. Oh, 10 HP left. I cannot believe I did it a second time back to back. 10 HP left. I got her. My entry mode top completion is now at two. All right, guys, that's all for this progression video. If you like my videos, make sure to hit the subscribe button. Also, every like and comment helps me reach more people. If you'd like to contribute to me and my channel, consider becoming a channel member, where you'll receive cool perks and help me to continue to make cool content. If you haven't been to my store yet, consider visiting. It has hoodies, shirts, stickers, and more. Thanks for watching, and until next time, foxes.